beautiful Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your mid-month check-in reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your personal details and I'll never ask you for credit card details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading, my beautiful Pisces. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds let us begin Okay, my beautiful Pisces, so this reading is a little bit different. Us Tarot readers, we tend to focus on love, career, money, those sort of things, because that is a common sort of uh, connection that all of us sort of go through at some point. Um, but this reading is about you. It is all about your energy, uh, what you're going through at the moment, things that you may be navigating, difficult situations, how you can overcome them, and uh, what the outcome will be. So let us see what is going on with you. Uh, there may be a bit of a personal sort of growth energy coming through, uh, personal power energy coming through. So let us see what is happening for you. Now, the first card you got is number 10. So uh, they want me to go one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Eagles. Um, beautiful energy. We've got the star energy to end there. Uh, so the death card energy, uh, this is the scythe in um, the traditional Lenormand deck. This is by Lamucci Design. Beautiful deck there. But the scythe indicates some sort of quick change. Okay, it means something radically uh, different. Uh, now, you may be releasing something, ending something uh, in some way, but you're making the decision. Okay, this is, uh, it can be about hasty knee jerk reactions. It doesn't have to be about you actually shutting down on something. The protagonist energy is you're trying to change something for the better because it's number 10. Number 10 normally connects to endings, but it is uh, the wheel of fortune in the major arcanas. So I feel like you are uh, at a turning point, a very pivotal moment in your life, and you're trying not to have like a knee-jerk reaction to it. I feel like you're trying to lead with your heart, with your emotions. I feel like maybe a very difficult decision, but I feel like you're releasing something from your life, perhaps a relationship uh, that you feel has ended, could be a friendship, perhaps it's a work thing that you've been going through. Uh, whatever it is, I feel like you are taking ownership of the energy. Um, you may be chalking it down to a loss is what I'm getting, but actually it's replaced with something greater. It's actually putting you in alignment with what you truly desire and who you truly are and what vibration you are emanating at this moment in time. So I feel like this is a lucky break, as it were, literally. I feel like you are um, challenging things in your world and trying to make things happen quite quickly, I would say. Um, beware of anything too quick, my beautiful Pisces, because sometimes quick energy is not sustainable. Um, so just be a little bit mindful. I feel like there is stability. I feel like stars are actually aligning to bring you whatever it is you're trying to uh, action here. Um, now the resistance position has is the hearts, okay, which uh, basically uh, they represent love. So I feel like um, this is about you being in alignment with what you truly desire. This is almost like two of cups energy or, uh, you know, the lover's card energy. So I feel like you're trying to find balance and harmony in your world. Uh, I feel like you're trying to elevate in some way, trying to find peace. But also I feel like you may have been struggling recently with that playful spirit. Uh, you know, we're all sort of grown people, you know, we're grown ass bodies, but inside we're still that young child that had all that bright spark energy where we had dreams and goals and, you know, we have hope and vision. And just because our bodies got older and we have to pay bills and navigate a, a big old pandemic and try and keep a job or find a job or, you know, relate to those around us and, you know, navigate a difficult time, we have to remember 
that life is meant to have pockets of enjoyment. We're meant to remember that playful type spirit. Balloons tend to be about lightheartedness and you may have felt recently that there's been nothing to feel lighthearted about or you may have felt really unmotivated uh, towards something that really sparks your heart. So for example, if you are in a career or you're in something that you truly love, you may have felt really stuck, really felt like unmotivated or unconnected to it because I feel like and this is not typical of your energy, my beautiful Pisces. You are a water element, so you feel things really deeply. But there may have been a period where you felt numb, where you felt you don't even know how you feel anymore, because this is in the resistance position. And it's number, when you reduce it, two plus four is six. So that is the number of balance. So you may have felt a little bit off balance or off center, or just a little bit not yourself recently, and you're trying to rediscover yourself, revive your spirits is what they're giving me. Um, now, I do feel like you will overcome the challenge. You will reconnect to your heart, to your emotions, to your dream. So, for example, uh, you know, a lot of us throughout the pandemic, the things that we did before, we had to change. Whether it's job, whether it's career, whether it's, uh, you know, the way that we live. I mean, most of us had to change that. But I feel like there's some radical changes here where part of you has felt a little bit lost in all of this almost like you felt and this came up i feel in one of the other readings as well uh, maybe even the scorpio energy where it's almost like you felt a little bit less than yourself a little bit like you want to get back to who you used to be kind of energy uh, and i mean that collectively is felt i mean it's an obvious thing to say because most of us are feeling like we want to get back to some sort of normal life um there is you know there's some plot twists going on in 2022 you know uh, we do have some sort of twists and turns happening with Uranus and uh, Saturn going direct this year, but it is a lot more positive energy this year than it has been in the last two. But I feel like you are sort of realigning yourself with those things that mean something to your heart. Uh, this is about you also getting closer to people that you love, uh, really connecting back into the world again. Um, finding that playful spirit, being a little bit more lighthearted because there's more opportunity or more sen scenarios or situations to find that sort of lighthearted energy. Also, I just get this energy of adventure here, following your heart. Um, you know, this is also, because this is al almost like this card reminds us that those things that we love, love us back. We can match the frequency of the things that we want. This is about following our heart, following our bliss. Um, and it's also about reciprocal exchanges. So you may be looking at where you give your time, your energy, your love and your care to people or situations, the sacrifices that you make in order to be successful. And you may be weighing up, is it worth it? Because your heart has just been disengaged for a little while. I feel like it's been put on pause, almost like protective energy in something. And this could be a relationship, it could be in a career opportunity, or it could be in some way, it's almost like your desire was lacking for a little bit and you disconnected, but you are going to reconnect and you are going to put your time and your energy into things, people, places that actually give back or you feel in some way it is a reciprocal exchange. So you don't give to receive, but I feel like you're recognizing by building healthy, strong boundaries um, that you're releasing anything that drains your energy, anything that is just all time consuming, but it just leads nowhere. Okay, um, I feel like anything that sort of dangles a carrot in front of you, but you never quite get it or it feels unrewarding, you're releasing all that. I feel like you're cutting that out of your life uh, now in all areas of your life. Uh, now, the unified energy, because this is the faded energy, I'm going to go and get some other cards here to see what's coming towards you and what you're navigating. We've got number three, which is the journey. It's the ship. Uh, which basically means the journey. It has been a difficult one. And they're indicating, you know, it's not going to be plain sailing, but there is a more positive sort of navigation. Uh, you know, the stars are aligning to bring you to where you want to go. When you think about, you know, before we ha had all this like technology and because uh, they're just showing me like, I gotta, they're showing me, you know, like, um, olden day ships. They're showing me people like land ahoy. They're looking through a telescope. So either you're looking at a telescope right now or you're looking through a telescope or you just bought a telescope or maybe you thought you're going to buy a telescope in order to um, connect to the stars more, um, look at constellations and things like that. Uh, please take that as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. It's very precise that one. But I feel like that's about honing your vision. Whenever you think about a telescope, it tends to mean spiritually that you are honing your vision, 
on something. You're really focusing on something. So it could be that you're you're focusing on your life path, your your um, sort of prosperity path, your true north, and trying to keep engaged with it, even though your heart has felt like it hasn't been in it for a while. It doesn't mean that your heart's not in it. It just means that you may have felt a little bit jaded or a little bit like um, discouraged because of the time period that we're living in. I do feel like the stars are aligning you to where you want to go. Um, if you think about the old sort of um, navigators throughout humanity, you know, sailing ships to find new lands, sailing to find new opportunity, um, they were often guided by the stars. Okay, so I feel like you will be guided, you will be navigated to where you want to go, to a position of hope. The stars represent healing, so if you're in, you, if you've gone through a very difficult breakup, for example, or you lost your job all of a sudden, or there's been something, something that's already occurred. So don't be worried that, oh my gosh, this is going to happen. That's not the case. They're indicating something has ended either abruptly or you made it happen abruptly. Something has ended. They're indicating that there is hope. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is like a really auspicious outcome where you're going to feel peace and you're going to be guided to the right place. The star energy tends to be about a new version of you in a new version of your life. So it is about you being in the right place at the right time, at the right moment, having the wisdom available to you that you need because everything you need is within you. But this is about you embracing new ideas and growing in a more positive way. It's almost like a miracle or a wish being granted. You may be in the spotlight for something or be appreciated for something. This is a renewal of hope, but most of all, it is clarity. So because we have this ship there navigating high seas, which look quite you know difficult to navigate, even though the journey has been difficult, you will find yourself back to your center, to your heart, align yourself with the things that you truly want, and you will get back to um, some sort of hopeful position. Now, I can't really remember. Um, one, of the, one of the readings last week had a song that was back to life, back to reality. Um, they're reminding me of that. So maybe it was your reading. I'm going to have to look it up. Uh, I did look it up afterwards. and I, uh, it, I feel it was, uh, if I can remember rightly, uh, either soul to soul or de la soul. I can't really remember now. Uh, but it was, uh, it was like soul, soul. So, yeah. That's coming up just because I feel it may have been relevant to your reading and it's coming up again where it's almost like you're being honest with yourself, you're being open, uh, but you're gaining clarity in a difficult situation and you're gonna make some radical changes that align yourself with the right people, the right places, the right opportunities that all speak to your heart and your soul. You are seeing beyond the superficial. You're seeking greater authenticity and you're honoring your heart. Okay, and your heart will never lead you astray. Okay, so let us see what else is coming towards you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide? I'm reading the uprights in this deck just so you're aware. It is um, the Way of the Panda Tarot by Kimberly M. San. Uh, it's illustrated by Celia LaBelle. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. All the links to all the cards, uh, well, all the names of the decks that I use are in the comments down below, just so you're aware. Um, definitely some clarity here. You got the moon and the sun, and both are sort of figures of light. Okay, um, symbols of light, but the moon represents a little bit of confusion energy, um, maybe even a bit of fear. Also, when you think about the moon, and I will, I will clarify when I touch it uh, in a moment for you. Thank you so much for it, guys. Got angels. The moon represents absorption of energy of light. Uh, we've got the high priestess, so intuition. The magician. I feel they want that one because it's not, it's bending. I got a it's got a yeah it's got a flip. I can't just choose it. The hierophant. So deepening your commitment to success, to your goals, your dreams, but also focusing. The magician is about your focus, your laser type focus, your confidence to take action and accomplish something. But it requires concentration. Uh, so first card the moon if you think about the moon the moon is that bright beautiful orb in the sky but it needs the sun in order to shine so there may have been very draining situations in your life of uh, energy vampires or people that you feel always absorb your energy or situations maybe it's a job maybe it's people maybe it's you know um maybe it's the career path that you took whatever is absorbing your energy 
and making you feel exhausted or making you feel uh, fear. You may be conflicted about leaving it behind or challenging it in some way. Um, there's definitely an energy of you releasing it with that uh, scythe energy. You're making some quick changes and the quick changes are perhaps making you feel a little bit uncertain or maybe making you feel a bit of fear. But with the, the moon card, it says, use your intuition. It will never lead you astray. Even in the most uncertain times, you will intuitively pick up on the undercurrent and you will be able to sort of understand the unseen before it happens and make the changes that are necessary in order to take action. Okay, now it's covered by the Five of Wands. A lot of people describe the Five of Wands as conflict or rivalry or challenges. Now, they can be all of those things, but the tradition of this particular card is, um, you know, the, the pandas in this card are not fighting, uh, and the people in that uh, traditional Rider Waite Tarot, they're not fighting. They're actually in training. So the Five of Wands tends to be about being in training for something greater. So if you've had a bit of a difficult journey or a difficult path, um, or you're trying to achieve something, it's almost like the struggle to get to the best position. Because the next card up, the Six of Wands, is success. It is a destination sort of achievement. So I feel like you are preparing for something or you are getting stronger. You're putting yourself in a stronger position by disconnecting from something that was either absorbing your energy or making you feel fear. You're in a really good position to move forward. The Five of Wands, if you've been having problems with people or you know there's been arguments or um sort of um a little bit of conflict maybe between you and others i feel like you're honoring differences i feel like you are acknowledging diversity we've all got different opinions we've all got different ways of doing things we all feel that we're doing the right thing in the right moment you know there's only the odd person who does something that's out of the ordinary and they know it's wrong and they're quite happy to do that horrible thing that's wrong but majority in terms of energy in terms of humanity we're all good people we want the best for others okay so sometimes we feel something is right it may not be right for another person but it is right for us our family whatever so if you've been struggling with um some some person or a situation where you're like you know what i cannot get on board with that person the way that they talk or the way that they act or whatever you may just actually acknowledge, okay, let bygones be bygones. They're different. They absorb my energy. I don't need to have them in my life. I can respect them. I can respect their views, but it's not for me. So you may disconnect, okay, is what I'm feeling there from something. Uh, so we all have the power to preserve our inner emotions. So if there is someone in your world, my beautiful Pisces, who tends to press your buttons, I feel like you are starting to really see that and be like, you know what, I don't need to take this anymore. And you're just sort of stepping back a little bit. Um, we do have the Sun card. So whatever it is that you've been struggling with or whatever it is that you are trying to change, the Sun card sort of recognizes there's been a bit of a delay and it may have made you feel a little bit frustrated. I do feel like you're coming out of that energy, but the Ten of Wands says it has been difficult. You've maybe felt a lot of responsibility recently. Maybe it's in love, you may have felt like it's exhausting to follow your heart. Whether it's in a relationship, whether it's in a career, the Ten of Wands says you've had a lot of burdens. You may have felt a lot of stress. And humans in general, not just in your sign, but when we feel a lot of stress, we are exhausted, we are at the brink of breaking. We tend to disengage with our heart. We tend to sort of feel numb. We just cannot connect to our center anymore because we just are exhausted. So spirit asks you to take a temporary time out. That moon card, I mean, look at that moon card. That panda is on the moon and it's got a little nightcap on there. So I feel like, you know, trust your intuition, take a little bit of break, whatever it is you're struggling with, they're indicating, you know, um, your intuition will take you to where you want to go. But I feel like you're on the precipice of something big because the 10 of wands, whilst it means you're burning the candle away at both ends, the sun and energy tends to mean it's for a very positive, successful reason. So um, I do feel like you're aligning yourself with the thing that sparks your heart. You're coming back to your center. Um, and because this is the resistance position, it means they're pretty much in the reverse, but I'm not reading those. But um, it means that you are going to overcome the struggle. You're going to see clearly where uh, 
the journey is taking you and you're going to see success. This is an optimistic sort of point of view. Um, your struggle will show you what you do want and what you don't want. As you can see, even though that panda is struggling to bring all that bamboo up the tree, as you can see, there is celebration. There's two sort of firework displays on either side. So I feel like you're nearly there. You're nearly at a point of success or you're nearly at the job of your dreams or you're nearly at the relationship that you yearn for. Whatever it is that you've been struggling to achieve, you're actually nearly there. So they're saying, don't give up too soon, my beautiful Pisces, because you're nearly there, okay? Now, we've got the um, King of Wands. King of Wands is about leadership. It is about courage. It's about being an influencer. So I do feel like you are someone who um, leads with your passion, your emotions, but really important, they're giving you this symbol, okay? And that is like salamander. That always occurs in most of the wands cards, in particular the King of Wands, though, it means you are protected. There's only one card, really, that uh, that uh, in the Wands that it doesn't really show up on, which is uh, the Queen of Wands, because she has a black cat. And that means that, you know, um, she's been guided using her intuition. She's uh, independent, but she has a lot of, she's more of a risk taker, as it were. But um, it's almost like luck will see her through. But with this King of Wands, it's only like you're coming out of a comfort zone and whatever risks you are taking, I feel like you're protected. Um, but you may have um, been in training for this moment. So I feel like you're just one step more out of a comfort zone. This is, I feel like this is like the moment you've been waiting for in a personal struggle. So whether it's been a career, because we've got Wands here, which is about your passion, your drive, things that you want to achieve. Um, I feel like you're totally bossing up and you're protected on the journey as well. This is about success. This is about taking charge, going after it, being powerful. Some of you may be stepping into a leadership position or a, a role of responsibility where you actually influence others. So with great responsibility, you have like, um, it's almost like you have a, a duty to be courageous or be strong. Now you're not, it's not a duty to others. It's about honoring your path. It's about coming out of your comfort zone to recognize that you have the courage to achieve what is meant for your life, okay? So I do feel like you are stepping into some sort of success, some sort of powerful position. You're being guided to the right place where you can create influence in your world or success in your world because the King of Wands tends to be a success card and you aligning yourself with your true desires, being confident and aligning yourself with your true prosperity. So um, if you've experienced a rejection, for example, recently, rejection is protection and redirection. So if you felt like you've been navigated elsewhere, it doesn't mean the end goal is not in sight. It means there is an easier or better way to get to the end goal because the moon card tends to be about plot twists, something that is unseen, something that happens quite quickly, making voluntary changes to be fluid enough to sort of go with the changes, which I feel like you are because you've got that ship there. So if it's been a difficult journey, you're still managing to ride the journey of life, the ups and downs, and get to where you want to go. It is crossed by the high priestess. So again, they remind you that you are intuitive and that you're it's like you're you're subconsciously just knowing the right path to take with the high priestess also you may have gone a little bit off grid you may have felt people may have seen you as aloof or mysterious recently but i feel like you've just taken yourself off grid to be successful at doing something maybe you've gone off radar or something like that but i feel like whatever it is you're working on or trying to build your confidence in i feel like you're going to be sent some sort of um, sign from the universe that you're on the right path. The actual sign that they're giving me is a crescent moon. They're highlighting the crescent moon in this picture. Um, and so I'm scrying at the same time as doing your reading. So they're actually showing me a crescent moon here. And in the water, they're showing me the word sign. Sign. S-I-G-N. Sign. So they're showing me that this is a sign, a crescent moon that you're going to see that really helps you on your journey. It's almost like a breakthrough moment for you. So whatever it is that you've been trying to um, wrestle with or make changes with or... I mean, this, as I said, this is a card of training. So you may be currently in training to be like a big athlete 
and you're about to go out there and you know take part in a race and you're going to win you find that motivation the struggle the um sort of exhaustion that you may be feeling as you try to achieve something it's going to see you win you're going to get there thoughts become things remember that it's so important and the high priestess she acknowledges um it's almost like she's in between two worlds okay the here and the now and the other which basically means you know uh, capable of manifestation law of attraction so whilst you're here and you know what you're physically capable of you're manifesting things that are extraordinary and you can achieve them because you're taking courage to take action and you've been in training for this moment so i do feel like whatever it is that you've been charging ahead, trying to overcome and manifest, I feel like you're just on the precipice of it happening, okay? We've got the magician, which does remind you again that thoughts become things. The magician leads very much with uh, skill and concentration. So I feel you have everything you need, talent, drive, passion. Uh, you, you've got that communication skills. You've got everything. You are a dreamer, my beautiful Pisces. Your dreams can come to life. So um, whilst people may have berated you when you were younger for being a dreamer, you know, you, saw, you hear all those teachers that are like, snap back here, come back into the class, stop dreaming. Dreaming and manifestation are the same thing. Building pictures in your mind of your life. So don't ever forget that part of your childhood. Don't ever forget that part of you, that is your gen genetic makeup. Keep seeing the visions of what it is you want to achieve and it shall be so. What you can see in your mind, you can have in your hand. Now right now they're showing me the book, The Secret. I'm not here to sell anything or I'm not here to sort of tell you to go out and buy certain brands or anything like that. That's not me. Um, but they're showing me the book, The Secret. So if that is something that you picked up recently or you keep seeing recently and you haven't read it, I feel like it is a sign for you to acknowledge it and either watch it because it is a movie as well or read it. Um, if you put it down and you haven't reconnected to it, I feel like it is a, a message for you to reconnect it because it reminds you of your personal power. Okay. And you have a lot of personal power. Magician says you are capable of accomplishing great things you have your personal power feel it the the it's almost like the witch's hat there is to draw attention to your crown chakra and how magical the crown chakra is the crown chakra is to know i know i can achieve this i know i am capable i know i am successful that's where the magic is the knowing okay so just be aware um now we've also got the hierophant the Hierophant is about secrecy, you know, uh, especially when it's paired with a high priestess there. Uh, it can be about, you know, secret knowledge coming towards you. Some sort of, you know, someone shares a secret with you uh, or something you've been waiting for for a while comes through and you're keeping it a secret. You don't want to tell anybody. I do feel like people are starting to notice you. Uh, so if you are in a, a position where you work, for example, the people who are higher up the chain, I feel are actually acknowledging you and noticing what you do and recognizing that you um, are capable of greatness. Also, I do feel if you work for yourself, I feel that you're going to um, get some sort of communication from somebody, uh, some sort of institution or something like that, that enjoys whatever it is you do and wants to in some way partner up. So just be mindful of that. I do feel like there's like a partnership coming your way in some way. The Hierophant is about your commitments, your dedication. And Pisces, you dedicate your all, your heart and your soul. That's why you may have felt a little bit off your center. Um, now they give me this word. They gave it to me a couple of weeks ago as well. So it may even have been for your sign because it's coming up again. They give me the word discombobulated. What a wonderful word. It's not something I use and now it's twice now. It's shown up in the last couple of weeks. So if it was for your sign, they're giving it to me again. So they definitely want to connect to somebody out there who uses that word or finds that word fascinating. I mean, I find that fascinating now. But anyway, I feel like it's to come off your center. So I feel with the Hierophant, you... You're dedicating yourself still to something that you've been working hard or fighting for for a long time. And you may be asking, is it worth it? But you're really like nearly there. So I would say don't give up on something that you're trying to achieve. Now, if this is for love for you, this reading, if you can see elements of love here, I do see that it's been an uncertain and challenging time in love for you and that you may have waited a long time 
and felt, you know, the burden of not being in a partnership. Um, I mean, you're happy all by yourself. You know, you're wonderfully self-sufficient, but you may have had a yearning for love. I do feel like someone sort of going to sweep you off your feet. They're coming on in. This is someone who's also had a very difficult journey. This, the moon symbol is very important. They're highlighting it again to me. So they're showing me the moon symbol is very important. So either this person has like a tattoo of a, a moon symbol on their, I don't know why hand, I just in, instinctively went to the hand. Not That's not spirit telling me, that's uh, instinctive energy from me. I'll always tell you the difference uh, between the two. So you may get married to this person or you may commit to this person. I mean, they if you don't like people with tattoos, it may be that they've got like a big old painting of a crescent moon or it's etched on their door. Maybe it's like, you know, a symbol next to the door bell of where they live or something like that. So please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for every, everyone there. The Hierophant is about a lesson. I feel like you've had a difficult journey because there were certain lessons you were meant to learn in order to make you stronger so that you could help other people especially with the, the king of wands the king of wands energy is an influencer someone who shines their light to guide others in the way to do things so if you are in a position of uh, being a carer or people look towards you because you're so emphatic you're so supportive and healing and nurturing with your wonderful energy people may come towards you for advice and some of the things that you've experienced on your journey were to help others find their true north so um just be mindful also um they're giving me this sentence and it came up again in the last couple of weeks so again if it did come up for your sign i do apologize but they were giving it to me again so i have to give it when i'm give, being given it and the sentence is if you cannot find the light it is because you are the light now that is a tough energy to take on because that means there's a lot of responsibility but in so doing you attract another person who is also going through a similar journey because um, light and energy, they actually attract each other, just so you're aware. Just be a little bit mindful of energy vampires because they also seek the light, okay? Just be mindful of that. Um, I'm not sure if that helps in any way because this, this reading seems quite um, precise, but I do feel like whatever you've been visualizing, whatever it is you've been trying to manifest, even in uncertain times, you are going to achieve it. You're totally going to boss up and you're going to be guided intuitively to where you need to be. There's a major breakthrough here on something that you've been struggling with. So I reveal my truth is one of the cards that are important uh, for your journey for the next couple of weeks. I reveal my truth. So I feel like you reveal your truth when there is something successful to tell, because I feel like... Um, there's something really positive coming your way, but you may be keeping it to yourself right now because you're not sure if it is going to work out the way that you hope for. So if you're keeping something private, I feel like there will be a moment, a reveal moment where everybody kind of celebrates uh, with you. So I reveal my truth. And also, I mean, it's number 13, which is the death card energy, which is about transformations or changes. So you may be making some radical changes in your world really quite quickly because you're like, I'm tired of living this life anymore. I want to do something else. I want to just go and be this or, you know, maybe you're a vet and you decide, you know what, actually, I want to travel the world. I don't want to do that anymore. I'm going to go from um, animal sanctuary to animal sanctuary and sort of um, help with my gifts, but I'm going to be a bit more transitory in my energy. I'm not going to be rooted in one place. So you may change certain aspects of what you do, but you're following your heart. It's the most important thing. Also, I'm a healer. Remember, healing starts with the self and then you can extend it to others. You're aligning yourself with your chakras. Very important. It's number 32. When you reduce it, 3 plus 2 is 5, which is a number which represents conflict, but also the Hierophant card. Overcoming conflict, learning tough lessons in order to help heal or influence other people in some way. Okay, so perhaps you're thinking about becoming a healer of um, some sorts, um, or you're connecting to your, um, your source, your center. Meditation is bringing you to a pathway you may be giving up like a nine to five job in order to become a healer because that is your natural energy and you're honoring that. Um, now, um, your final card there is sea otter. Sea otter. 
and it says happiness. Be the master of playful living. Release expectations and enjoy every day. Let worry go and instead choose love. Surrender to the waves. Your good destiny of love is sure. Now, I don't know about you, but that just connects completely to your faded energy there, okay? Which is about finding that playful spirit, happiness. And if you've ever seen otters play, it is an absolute delight. It makes you feel like you want to get in that um, sort of vicinity with them, pick up some stones and just play with them as well. Because they're, they're so cute when they just pick it up. It's almost like they do a little juggling thing with a stone and they're just doing all this energy, making all these little squeaky noises. Oh, they're so, they're so beautiful. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, but also it is about surrendering to the waves. Surrender to the journey of life. Let it take you to where you want to go. It doesn't have to be a struggle, especially when you find your true north, when you find the right path. Things become easier. So if you are like have a calling to be a healer or to be someone who is um, maybe a tarot reader um, or a counselor or in some way helping others, if you've got that inner calling, things start to get easier for you because you're on the right path. Okay, so I'm just going to pull a quick trinket for you. Okay. And we got the angel. Angels watching over me. So you're definitely being um, protected, redirected to wherever you feel your heart is taking you. Whatever the, that heart leads, your guides are helping you get there, okay? So you do not walk alone, my beautiful Pisces. They walk with you. Um, they want me to put it on the star energy. So this means they're guiding you to the, the light at the end of the tunnel. There is a really positive change coming for you. And um, they really want you to connect to your inner child as well. Because we tend to forget it as we get older and have more responsibility. But remember those pockets of happiness. I mean, life is to be enjoyed at the root of it if we can find those moments it lightens the load for sure i'm going to leave it there i hope something resonates in this reading for you my beautiful pisces if it does please like or subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when i uh release my next video it also lets me know that you resonate with the reading which is very important for me um also, for those of you, they're just giving me this before I go. Uh, well, first of all, they're showing me someone opening a packet of biscuits. So if that's you, you're making me crave a biscuit with a cup of coffee. So if that's uh, you, uh, there's something in this message for you. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course. Um, so please take it as it resonates, especially since a lot of us are maybe on you know, being strict with the waistline uh, or our health at the moment with sugar and things like that. I mean, it could be really healthy biscuits or healthy crackers or something, but it looks like biscuits. So that's what I'm going with for the image. Um, also, they're just giving me this one thing. If you're already in a relationship with someone, there may be a deeper commitment coming with this person. They may surprise you uh, out of the blue with a proposal um, or, um, but I feel like intuitively you knew it was coming. Please act surprised. Uh, even if you can feel it, my beautiful Pisces, okay? Because this person, I feel like this person, they see you as their world. That's what I'm, I'm getting, I'm picking up. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope something resonates for you. Thank you so much and love and light.